eyes. Which part of your body lets you read the back of a cereal box? Check out a rainbow and see a cricket ball heading your way. Which part lets you cry when you're sad and makes tears come out of them? Which part has muscles that adjust to let you focus on things that are close up or far away? If you've guessed the eye, you're absolutely right. Your eyes are at work from the moment you wake up to the moment you close them to go to sleep. They take in tons of information about the world around you, shapes, colors, movements and much much more. Then they send the information to your brain for processing so the brain knows what is going on outside of your body. You can see that the eye is pretty amazing. So come on, let's take a tour of its many parts. The parts of the eye. You can check out different parts of the eye by looking at your own eye in the mirror or by looking but not touching a friend's eye. Some of the eye's parts are easy to see. So most friends would say, "Okay." Most friends won't say, "Okay," if you ask to see their liver. Your eyes are fragile, squidgy balls made of watery jelly, so they need to be well protected. Eyebrows sit above your eyes and prevent sweat dripping into them. And your eyelids and lashes stop dust from entering the eyes and sweep them away. Tear glands behind your eyes produce drops of salty fluid. When you blink, your eyelids sweep this fluid over your eyes to keep them clean. If something gets into your eye or you feel strong emotions, the drops turn into floods of tears. Blue, green, grey or brown. What color are your eyes? The color of your iris depends on the instructions for your eye color that you inherit from your parents. Your eyes are a bit like tiny video cameras, but filled with fluid. Light enters the eye through a hole in the iris. The pupil then travels to the retina. Messages are sent to the brain, which tell you what you see. Did you know that humans have the ability to tell the difference between ten thousand smells? This incredible sense helps you to taste and enjoy things. The nose has two holes called nostrils. The nostrils and the nasal passage are separated by a wall called the septum.